Do you want to know the secret to the age old cash versus card debate? Choosing the wrong one can actually either tank your budget or cost you thousands of dollars along the way. Today we're going to be talking about cash versus credit card and, and what's the actual best decision for you because it's not the same for everyone. So today I'm joined by Kyle here who's uh, the newest member of our team at Parallel Wealth. Kyle, why don't you just introduce yourself, tell everyone kind of who you are and how you got to this point. Yeah, so I uh, joined the team a couple of weeks back and joined the, in the industry uh, for about the same time as Matt as well. And we actually went to business school together. So that's how we made the connection and happy to serve you guys at Parallel. Your payment method choice can actually have a very significant impact on your day to day finances. And not just when it comes to, you know, what your bank account currently looks like, but also what your bank account's going to look like down the road. It really can impact your credit score, your ability to get a mortgage, anything like that. When it comes down to it, choosing the wrong payment method can lead to high interest payments, fraud and overspending. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into that age long concept or age long debate of what is actually better to use cash or card. So the first concept that we want to look at is controlling of overspending. So Kyle, why don't you elaborate on that and the actual benefit of is cash better for this or is card better for this? Yeah. So I find when you're actually trying to control your spending, I mean, cash is a lot easier because you have it on hand. You actually have the physical dollars in your pocket and you're able to kind of allocate those dollars accordingly. Um, whereas if you have a card, you can just tap nowadays and you tap whatever. And by the end of the day, you don't know how much you spend. So tap has become a very convenient thing, but also higher risk. You know, you can have it on your phone. You don't have to have any money on you and you can just tap your phone anywhere you are. And there goes money out of your account and you're not going to think twice about it. Uh, this next concept is just, again, the convenience of it. So I just kind of touched on it slightly about being able just to tap your card. But Kyle, why don't you elaborate on that one a bit for us? Kind of tell us, obviously, is credit card more convenient than having cash in your pocket? Totally. I think credit card is more convenient. I mean, I personally don't have much cash in my wallet at any time. I just have my card or I use my phone to pay for most things. Uh, but one of the conveniences, if you're traveling worldwide too, you don't have to have cash, a bunch of cash in your pocket and worry about losing it, misplacing it, getting it stolen. Um, you can just easily use a credit card to pay worldwide. Yeah, even when you look at it, you know, as you mentioned, going to different countries, you know, we live right by the border of Canada and the US. So we're going to cross the border every once in a while. But it's so much easier just to use your credit card versus having to get US dollars out and go use that at your gas station or convenience store, anything like that. So another very convenient part of credit cards, obviously, is there are benefits that come along with it. So rewards, cash back, uh, you know, you can get vouchers for airlines, anything like that. It, it really is convenient in that way that you can actually earn points, you can earn benefits through your credit card. You know, for my wife and I, we use our, our WestJet credit card all the time and every year we get a voucher for a free flight and it's it's great. It's such a nice little benefit to have to our credit card and, and we actually utilize it. So, you know, it does make sense sometimes to, to use your credit card, especially in those scenarios where you're, you're benefiting it and not just uh, seeing or not just utilizing the convenience of, of tapping or you know quick cash out of your accounts. Now, obviously with credit cards, there comes one major concept and that is interest charges. So Kyle, why don't you expand on interest charges? Is that beneficial? Does it hurt uh, an individual if they have interest charges ongoing? What does that look like? Yeah, so interest charges, obviously credit card debt is one of the worst types of debt to actually hold. Um, if you're good with your budgeting, you're able to pay off your credit card on time, you're not gonna have an issue with this. But if you do run with some issues of paying back your credit card, the, the penalties can be quite big. I mean, you can see interest rates anywhere from 17% to potentially 25%. Um, and that reoccurring is, is difficult to get out of. We talked about compound interest on our channel. Um, think of the credit card debt working in the opposite way. So it's really hurting you long term. And that interest is compounding against you, uh, which we don't want overall. Along with that, if you aren't paying down your credit card on a monthly basis, it will strongly impact your credit score. So credit brokers will see that you aren't paying this and it's gonna impact your ability to purchase a house later on in life. It's gonna impact your ability to, to loan money from the bank for vehicle purchases, if that's what you're intending to do. You have to be really cautious about how you're using your card, making sure you're not overspending 
because those interest charges will put you so much further in the hole than just monetarily, but it will impact how you can actually spend going forward and impact what you can actually purchase going forward uh, as you know, you're gonna have restrictions if you're not being very careful in that area. And the next thing, or the last thing here that we wanna talk about is uh, fraud protection. So obviously cash doesn't really offer a fraud protection benefit. I don't think I've ever heard of a currency doing that. Um, so Kyle, why don't you tell us a bit about credit cards and some of them and how they offer you know fraud protection and what that actually entails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so most credit cards have some sort of fraud protection built in. Um, so if someone were to somehow get a hold of your credit card, uh, be able to utilize it and pay money uh, towards it, there is potential for protection against that. So I haven't had it personally, but I know others that have had their cards stolen online or they see random um, expenses come up on their card and they call up their credit card company and they're able to protect against that and actually refund um, them because it's a, a purchase that was very abnormal, something they wouldn't have done anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so there's protection of that. Obviously cash, you don't have someone to lean back on like a credit card company to actually um, have protection. So when it comes down to it, obviously there's some pros and there's cons to both credit cards and cash. You know, when you look at credit cards, you have the convenience of it, the protection when it comes to fraud. But when it comes to cash, obviously, it helps you to stay a little bit tighter to your budget. It'll also, you know, you can't overspend with cash, so you won't ever get into interest debt there. Um, obviously, this is something that needs to be figured out on the personal side, but I know for my personal life, I find credit cards very convenient and I do really like the benefits that come along with it. So if you can manage those properly and in a healthy way, then it really is a great tool to use that will help you get ahead. Are you looking for a way to strategically maximize your wealth in each stage of life? Head on over to our masterclass. Right now we're running $100 off if you follow the link in our bio or down below. We go a little bit further into credit cards there as well as so many other topics that will get you ahead in your personal finances from your 20s to 40s. So then when you hit retirement, you'll be ready to actually enjoy retirement. Thanks guys.